What up, Splatheads? Adam the Admin here again. Today I brought my beautiful, <laughs> wonderful, amazing, and totally talented boss, Stephanie. Hello. You can follow her on Instagram at punkrocksteph. You're gonna have Thank a bunch you. of Splatheads following Thank you. you. I know. And today we have Alouk with us. Now, Alouk, you're from India. I'm from India, yeah. And you happen to come to America to visit during a time when we have our Independence Day, which is the 4th of July. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, you let us color your hair red, white, and blue, which is actually luscious raspberries, blue envy, and splat lightning bleach. Now, uh, Stephanie went and did that for you, and uh, if I do say so, uh, it came out fantastic. You are a genius. It did actually, yeah, I like yeah. it. Do you feel very I love patriotic? It. Yeah, <laughs> you feel patriotic to a country you're not technically a resident of, or? Right now I'm in America, so when in Rome, Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the process of how we dyed Luke's hair in such patriotic colors, and we're going to give you some tips and pointers on the process. See how much I love America, no being a citizen. Yeah. I love America! <laughs> we're glad you feel that way. So do we. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take the front of Luke's hair here and do a panel of red, white, and blue. We're going to start by bleaching <laughs> the parts that we want to dye with our lightning bleach because you always want to apply the color to pale blonde hair. Okay, cool. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do it. <laughs> Everyone's favorite part of the process, the bleach. And what we're going to do uh, is we're actually going to open up the packet and put it into a bowl. Can mix it, of course, in the oxide bottle, although this, we like to do it this way, makes it a little easier. First, uh, we're going to mix in the bleach there. It's a pretty blue color. And uh, carefully apply the oxide to the bleach powder. And note the reaction. Okay, so a look has dark hair, and we want to bleach him to the pale blonde stage so it looks really white, like red, white, and blue. For his tone of hair, you're probably going to want to leave the bleach in for 40 to 50 minutes. Could you explain kind of what you're doing with the, that brush there? I noticed. I'm taking small sections and brushing more bleach on the each little section to make sure it's all evenly distributed through the hair. So now we wait for the bleach to do its thing. Now you said between 40 and... 40 and 50 minutes. 40 and 50 minutes. While we wait, let's talk a little bit about uh, Bollywood. No. <laughs> what I wanted to point out to you guys is, as you can see, uh, a look is his hair where we apply the bleach is processing, and as you can see, it is getting significantly lighter than his real shade of color, but it's still not quite there yet. We want to get it to a pale blonde color, which is actually kind of similar to my hair color right now. It's got sort of a brassiness to it, but essentially, this is kind of the color we want to get it to. We're going to leave you in the ladies' room. Just sit tight, a look. We'll be back uh, when you're pale blonde. We actually did put a cap on the looks uh, head, and why did we do that? The more heat up the scalp, which helps your hair lighten closer to the scalp, and the ends tend to go a little bit darker, so I put the cap on to distribute the heat evenly. We're going to rinse the bleach out of a Luke's hair, and we're actually going to be using Develop Plus's anti-aging hair treatment system. <laughs> so anti-aging, it's a three-step treatment. Basically, this is step one, which is revive. It's like a really foamy, really good shampoo. It does come with a cleansing mask, however, when you're applying dye, it's generally not a good idea to use conditioners before you apply the dye, because you want the hair to be porous, and that's what we've done by bleaching it, it makes the hair more porous, which means the dye is more receptive. So how does it feel to have a, a head massage? Oh, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I get this question a lot from Splatheads. You want to apply the bleach and the dye to bone dry hair. Otherwise, it's going to be spotty. You know, you want to make sure that your hair gets the full absorption of bleach and dye. So we're actually going to put some toner in, like a purple color. What it's going to do is going to offset the yellow that you see. So you don't actually have to bleach your hair to oblivion if you want to get that platinum blonde. You can kind of bleach it to sort of this brassy yellowness and then apply a purple toner to make it whiter. What kind of toner are we using today? I'm using Satin's High Lift in Violet. It's, it looks white. So you're actually mixing a violet color here. Yes. It's going to have a violet tone to it. How long do we let the toner process? 
It depends on the hair. Five minutes? Ten minutes? We've not only bleached his hair, we're actually now applying a developer to it. It does tingle a little bit. He's feeling a little sensation. So what we're going to do is we're going to neutralize that burn with an aspartame-based sweetener. What I like when I apply this to my hair is it's almost got like a, t you know, you can feel it like pop rocks in your head. Like, you can feel it neutralizing. Does it, is it making you feel a little better? Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. So while we were away, I decided since the toner's out, I'm gonna sort of lighten up my hair a little bit. It was looking a little brassy, so I threw in some of that uh, just to get more of a platinum or like a lighter shade of blonde. So a look, lay back, relax. I'm gonna wash this out of your hair. I'm probably gonna wash it out of mine. I still got it in my head. Close your eyes, sugar. Mm. Girl, your weave look beautiful. <laughs> And we're just gonna lather him up like that. We're just gonna wash that right out. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. Whoa, good thing I told you to do that. So basically right now, Stephanie is actually putting conditioner in a looks hair on the spots that we want to have white because we don't want the color to bleed together. Conditioner kind of prevents the dye from penetrating the hair, which is good if, you know, once in a while you make a mistake, you get a little close to the edge, you don't have to worry about it because you got the conditioner. Oops, I accidentally got some on his forehead. Oh no! What should we do? I have this great new product called Color Oops. Color Oops wipes will easily wipe off any hair color accidentally put on your head. You don't say. We should wipe the oops away. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not dying. <laughs> and now, watch as the magic happens and I magically make that stain go away. Well, that was a lot of fun. I think your hair came out fantastic. You look definitely very American because, you know, as Americans, we walk around all day with uh, flags of our country on ourselves. So, you know, it's an American. Just day. on the 4th of July, is it? Uh, no, no, all through the year. Yeah. I have a special suit and tie, actually, that's just all made out of American flags. Well, thank you very much, Aluk. Thank you for watching Splatheads. We hope this video was helpful to you. Leave any questions you have in the comments below or hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash splathaircolor. We'll see you soon.